Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this video I'm going to show you demonstration of another project this is Zorkit. So Zorkit is a home service booking application uh, similar as a um, Urban Clap. And if I talk about the technical things, it's using a Spring Boot, have a net uh, and for the backend purpose and for the front end it's using uh, JSP, uh, but the JSP it has HTML, CSS. All the common things and uh, for the backends using Spring Boot, Hibernate, JPA, and here is the package config controllers, DAO, DTOs, exceptions, form, service, utility. And to store the information, it's using MySQL Workbench. So here we have a database. So I'm going to just close the run tools. So here we have a Zorkit DB that have a to card service feedback request services user. So to view the data of any tables, just right click on the table, it's like the first option, you will be able to see the data. So if I talk about the users into the application, the different users here. So we have, like, like, okay, check with the password. Okay, we have a three types of user in this application. First is the admin, professionals, and the customers. So we can say the, uh, the, Professional means employees or the service man is going to serve the service and the customer is going to book the service. So let's run the application and start what this application is doing and check the demo. How can you operate it further? If you already bought this project from Code One and uh, after that, we will do the setup in this state and uh, you need to follow this uh, the next steps to uh, operate the application. Or if you are looking for this project, you can connect us over the email or WhatsApp or Skype. We will do the complete setup at your machine. And after that, you need to follow this demo. So how can you run the application? You can see here, we have a Zorkite application.java. So right click on this file, go to run as, run it as a Java application. And then just wait while your server is started. So now you can see my server, this server is running on 9091. So currently, uh, after that, you need to open the resources folder, go to the application.property file, and here, let me create the app URL. Uh, okay, once the server is started, just go over here and uh, enter the URL as a localhost 9090 Zorkit. So, this is the app URL. I'm going to put it in the code so it will be helpful. So, you can directly copy it from here. So, just copy this URL and after that, enter it to your browser. So now to understand this application, we need to log in and at three different views. So first thing, uh, let me explain you the, ba the basic thing of the application. Then we log in with a different users and then see how, what are the connection between them and how can, what is, what is the flow of the application? So here we have a login page, here the common login page for all the different users. And we have a sign up for professionals or we have a sign up for a customer. So what professional is going to do here? Uh, if any professional want to register, let's say I am a new professional and I'm, I'm I'm providing some kind of service, so I want to uh, I have to register here. So I'm adding some dummy data. So let's say this is my first name, last name, and let's say for the login, I'm going to say at the rate gmail.com, and for the contact number, any ten digit number. It's using all kind of validation. So you need to while you entering the data into the forms, you make sure you are entering a valid valid data. So it will only attain, like accept the 10 digit number. So 456-7899. Okay, DOV. For DOV, you need to open the calendar, select any date, and uh, yeah, select gender. Zip is okay. Zip will be for five digit. And here we have address CD. Let's say, okay, for the CD, make sure uh, while I'm entering the CD, I can serve in that CD only. So let's say I'm entering indoor and state. Uh, we can say these are showing like 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 a state from uh, other countries so i'm just adding the dummy data then password and the skills so here in the skill section we have to add the skills like uh, let's say i'm going to do my first skill is an electrician the second is housekeeping and uh, some other painter saloon and let's say plumber so I did five types of skills over there. After that, I need to uh, choose an image. It means my profile picture. So I, I'm just adding a dummy images over there. While you working, you can add up um, like valid images. After here, we need to upload the KYC. So let's say I'm just uploading a PDF here. Um, some 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 images. You can add the uh, 
valid things. Here, another thing we have a payment link. So, uh, on which payment link this uh, professional will get the payment? So, I'm just adding uh, a link pay me pay dot me. So, this let's just say this dot com. So, I'm just adding this link and click on the save. When I save it, it says the professional is registered successfully and now we are ready to go. So here, if I refresh my database, I can see the professional is registered over here with all the details. Now we'll log in and check what this professional can do and uh, what are the different features. So here, uh, what are the username and the password? First, we need to check that. So this is the username for this. I just enter this username and password is already there. So I just log in as a professional. Here it will show you this, this this user is logged in as a professional. Here we have a assigned services means uh, this professional need to schedule the services, and then we can check the view other employees that are under the database uh, available into the database. And under the my booking section, this professional will see the my booking and view feedback for, about this professional. Here into the assigned services, what I'm going to do, see, let's say I'm going to go for a uh, electrician and cost for per hour will be hundred dollar and here into the date i can select today's date and not today's let's say i'm going to select uh, tomorrow's date and select a slot so i need to enter the time so let's say i want to enter it 1 pm to i'm um, available till 4 pm and i click the save so service is assigned successfully now Oh, so this is the professional uh, user. Now I'm going to log in as an employee user and admin user so we can identify what this user is doing over here. Here I'm going to log in as an admin. Let's say what is the username and password for the admin. So this is the login ID for the admin user. Okay. And this is the password. So we have a profile. So for the admin side, what we have for the admin side, we have a list of all the customers. So we can perform the crude operation. Like we can delete this customer. We can search the customer by first name. Let's say I want to search it by this name. And I click on the search. It will filter my data. And uh, apart from that, we have a professionals list. So I can check the list of professionals. If I want to download the KYC, I can download the KYC for that particular user. That will become as a doc and uh, yeah search option is also there and delete option is also there apart from that we have a services so we have a service list here okay and we can add if i want i can add a more service so for the this user for this professional we have added a service recently as a as a electrician i guess so now if i check in indoor location do we have any 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 in at, at the indoor indoor location do we have any electrician no so let's add a electrician service as an admin so when any professional will uh, register with their service the admin need to add the service as well so this uh, this uh, user or professional registered as a uh, like 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 as an electrician so i'm going to uh, for the indoor location so i'm going to add a, a service here for the in the location so i say service name okay here and then this service will be display over here so i'm going to give it a name as the ad service so let's say electrician and city name let's say Indo, and the browser image of the service so i'm just using dummy images you can use real images while you're loading so service is added successfully now for the indoor location we have that service and uh, the, under the booking history admin can check the booking of all the customers here and the dates and service name and all the details also we can perform the search operation today's booking so uh, under the booking section we have three types of uh, bookings like today's booking booking history means and under the booking history we can see all the bookings and uh, for the booking today it means uh, what are the booking for the today now uh, if we make any booking it will display over here and the upcoming bookings in, in case of any booking in the future and view statics under the view statics section we can check the setting and sale how many records are there so total seven records are there so we can identify according to the categories like how the electrician are doing and the date of booking so we can filter there are lots of uh, many filters like by category by date of booking 
and uh, total number of records so accordingly we can view the statics now uh, with the same use over the same portal in a private window i'm going to log in as a customer so let's see what customer can do over here so i just logged in here first thing i can register as a new customer so let's say i'm um, registered as a customer new and the name will be same i'm going to give uh, this email id and the contact number dov gender zip only five digits will accept i guess so okay so one two three four five nice address city Again, this city is important when user will log in, it will automatically display the services that come under this city only. So if I enter the window, it will display the city uh, services that is going to serve from the window only. Uh, we can search other as well, but by default, it will show from window. And the password is a demo of the rate 23 I'm adding here. No, okay, so choose image. I just use my profile image here and click on save. So this customer is registered successfully. Now I'm going to log in by this customer. If I go here over this service offered section, uh, by default location is indoor and it's showing this service that is registered into the indoor. Let's say I'm going to give, uh, I, I, I want to search the services that is in other city. So how can I do that? Let me check the services with other city, let's say Pune. So I'm going to search it from Pune. If I filter here as a Pune, it will display me the other services that are serving into the uh, Pune location. So here we have in those. So let's suppose I want to request for this electrician that we have recently uh, registered. If I, I can view the profile of this uh, professional, and uh, these are the slots that are divided by the professional, the costing per hour and all the details. And here I can request a booking for tomorrow and here let's say i want this user let's say 2 pm i guess let's say and uh, i can also view the feedback of this user if anyone given but this is a new professional so currently the feedback is not there so click on the save so now you can see the request added successfully wait for the professional to accept the request now, if I go into the booking, I can see that there is nothing booking is requested. Now, let's uh, log in as a professional. So move to the, this professional account. If I view here my bookings now, uh, in the past it was showing there is no booking, but now it's showing uh, book, one booking request. So I, as a professional, I have two options, accept or reject. So let's say I want to accept it. Also, uh, for this booking list, we have a accept or reject, uh, reject filter. If I select uh, reject, it will not display me any data over there. If I select accepted, it will display the data. When I accept this request, for notification is sent to this user. And if this user is going to check the booking thing, now it says booking accepted and the payment link and feedback is enabled. So I can go to the pay me and pay my services or pay for the services. Other thing I can add the uh, rating and uh, uh, comments for this user as a feedback. That was that was a good service. That was really good. So I just save it and if I check my booking, so I have added the feedback as well. So I have added feedback for this professional. So if I go here and check view feedback. Now the feedback will display here with the right inside. And from the admin side also, if I go at the view static, and now the record is updated as an add, a new booking is there. Into the booking list, let's say I go for the upcoming booking, and now this is the upcoming booking for a third of uh, April, and currently it's the second of April. So if I go to the today's booking, there will be no record because there is no booking for it today. So, uh, apart from that, we have a my profile change password for all the kind of users, support section is there. So, uh, this is about the home services. The project name is Zorkite and Zorkite is the application is going to provide the home services. So, if you need the source code, you can connect us over the WhatsApp, Skype or uh, mail. And don't worry about the configuration setup. Even we have a different services like we can explain you the complete source code, how the thing is built. And uh, you can prepare for vibas and interviews. If you really need the source code, please connect us over the uh, 
uh, support so we can help you on and 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 one important point these projects are paid if you guys are going to correct us and after that you are getting like 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 it should be free but it's really not possible because it take a hard work to develop the things and in a professional manner and then serve the things even the setup will take time at your machine so it's uh it's not affordable free of course so that's why we are charging some minimal charges thank you